Welcome back to my second video on my channel since I started back up. I'm EC from ECTV, and these are my thoughts on Warface switching publishers. So recently, I've heard that the game Warface is actually switching publishers from Crytek to My.com, which Crytek actually quoted as being a partner of Crytek for over 4 years, and that they already published Warface in countries such as Russia, just not North America, Europe, or Turkey. <laughs> Personally, I think that Warface is going to continue to be developed, judging by this quote from the same article. This transition allows us to focus further on developing, supporting, and evolving the game, and our commitment to serve the community by making Warface the best it can be remains absolute. And then they even went on to say that, as ever, development never stops on Warface, and there is an expanded roadmap of exciting content, updates, and community events lined up for the months and years ahead. By the way, for you Turkish players watching, they also mentioned that this did not affect Turkish players, because Crytek is still publishing Warface in Turkey. The short answer is, yes, you will. I would put in another quote, but the video would probably seem too repetitive if I put in any more quotes, so I'll just lay off on the quotes for a little while. And by a little while, I mean as in, like, the rest of the video. So anyways, back to the point of this section. You will get to keep everything but it's just that you will have to create a my.com account. Now it's time for the core of this video, which are my personal thoughts and opinions on this change in development. So without further ado, let's get Roy into the news! I'm being serious too, like he knows his right in his intros, he always says Roy, like seriously, no joke, no prank. And I'm just getting off topic here, so let's start. But seriously guys, keep starting. I actually have an optimistic approach to this whole situation. If you're wondering why or just curious in the first place, then I will explain. So when I first heard about Warface switching publishers and all that, then I looked up my.com and I found out that they are already publishing a good amount of games, meaning that they already have a good amount of experience to go along with it. I also found out that they made a free mobile app called Maps.me, that is basically an offline maps app, but that's not the point. The point is that I'm hopeful for Warface's future. And I believe that is not really an issue as much as it is a change in the direction that Warface is headed. I mean seriously, is Russia actually complaining that much about My.com? I think not, so that probably means that we're in the clear. Also, remember that quote that said that My.com was a partner of Crytek for over 4 years now? Yeah, well guess what, that quote indicates to me that Crytek must really trust them in order to hand such a big game over to them. So in conclusion, there is little, if any, reason for me to think that a change in development over to My.com is bad. If anything, it will be better because I imagine that we will get a huge update that changes the game in My.com's image, which will be interesting to see which features have been added, changed, or removed. Who knows, if it's interesting enough, I may even make a video about it. Probably the only bad thing I could get from a change in development is that I will have to make a My.com account. Other than that though, nothing else seems bad to me at all. So that was basically my opinion on Warface switching publishers. Be sure to join back next week for a brand new video on, well, whatever I choose to do a video on next. Also, don't forget to like that slap button if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more weekly content. But for now, this is your boy EC from ECTV out, and peace. Oh yeah, by the way guys, 10 likes and I'll do a finger tip reveal.